Evening guys, uh, good Friday to all that made it here, and uh, it was a very enjoyable this morning reading uh, Dave in Kentucky's journal and then watching the video and all. I'm glad everything worked out well, except for the little nickel in your ear, but uh, that could have been much worse. So, you know, no stitches were required. And uh, so my day was fairly uneventful, can't complain. Mrs. is one day at a time getting better. We're one day closer to this Monday, which she gets the soft cast off, which is going to be two big thumbs up for both of us. Uh, and all. So tonight's shave, continuing with the American razor theme, I've got one of my other brands that I really enjoy, my Robeson Shore Edge. That's whether you can see it or not. This is one of the ones that says the razor that fits your face. Uh, not really sure what that's supposed to mean other than, I guess, if you tried to shave with like a two inch razor, it wouldn't fit too well. Uh, but, uh, this one even has a little sticker left on the back and it says it's a uh, number 15 E300 ground and honed for heavy beard and tender skin. So don't necessarily have tender skin. I would say it's pretty not tender, whatever the opposite of that is. Not really rawhide or anything like that, but uh, not tender. But I do have a heavy beard. And I'm not really sure how you would grind it differently. All the models that I've seen have about the same thinness of grind, the same amount of hollow. And uh, I mean, sharp is sharp. I don't know, unless you maybe did like a, uh, a secondary bevel or something, but I don't think they did that. I don't know. I think that's just marketing hype. But you'll, you'll have that. But uh, the Robeson's another top quality New York razor that uh, are just, you can't really go wrong with them at all. And tonight, surprise, 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 I'm going to use the CBL Dragon's Blood, even though it's got patchouli in it. It doesn't smell terrible. And I thought, well, I'll lather it up and I'll use it and just see whether or not it grows on me. So... So I already pre-lathered it before I took my shower and all using my Razor Rock 400 synthetic. It's not terrible, but I mean, I guess I'm in the minority seeing how there's a lot of guys, a lot of, a lot of companies that have uh, soaps that have patchouli in one amount or another in, in the scent package. And uh, so it obviously doesn't have the same effect for other people as it does me. It's not terrible. It's just something about that smell. I don't know what it is. So maybe in some sort of past life or something, if you believe in that, maybe uh, I was overexposed to it. So, so, uh, enjoyed watching your video there, Dave. Everything went well. It didn't do bad at all. I mean, not that I'm any kind of critique or judge or anything like that. Uh, but basically like me, you pretty much figured out that two passes is about, about the most that I do ever with a, with a straight edge. And all, if I really want to get that extra little bit, it's way easier and way quicker than doing all the gymnastics that I'd have to do to get to move the blade in the other directions to go against the green. And it's not really worth it time wise. And uh, I mean, really, do we really need to be that smooth? Probably not, but it is nice. So, uh, but uh, CBL soaps, we all know them, we all love them, and also. Nothing to say really about that. The scent's not terrible, but I'm not going to say it's going to be a favorite or I'm going to buy a full-size tub of this. But. So. so we had rain in the morning. The rain backed off. Everything's just soggy and swampy. The 
if anybody around here starts crying drought, I would have them drug tested. But we went the entire month of February with no snow, which doesn't help my bank account because I don't make any money not plowing snow. So then what happens with the county where I'm at is all the money that was set aside budgeted for snow, <clears throat> the bean counters all come and take and say, well, you don't need that. You gotta give that back to us. We need it. We can spend it on other things. And we'll give you a few little of the crumbs and you can buy some snow related items like cutting edges for the plows and plow parts and tire chains and crap like that. So. So, we'll have to give back a bunch of money from the highways budget. So, yeah, one of the things here, I nicked that same spot again that I nicked yesterday, so. That's a little bit of like a bump or something that's every once in a while I get to bleeding. So I'm not really sure you can see Dave, but I try to move instead of going straight, I try to move and do like a little bit of a scything motion. You can't saw it because you'll cut yourself. But if you go in that little bit of a motion and all, it does make a difference. You can feel it. It's, uh, it just helps the edge cut a little bit. I'm guessing the same. I've never actually used a, uh, like a slant razor, like a slant double edge, but same effect. Also the same reason why a lot of people really like a, a smiling straight razor and all. You get the same effect of the edge not being square 90 and all. And it's coming at the whiskers and it's always at some sort of an angle. So if you watch, like I'll try to leave a little bit and see in the soap. I'm going down and down, so it's not a straight shot. Or like sometimes I call it like almost like a windshield wiper type thing where you can, you can do it, but you have to just kind of play with it. It took me a long time to get used to doing it without worrying about slicing myself open. And you'll notice sometimes when I'm coming up on my chin, how I automatically hold it almost at an angle anyway. Instead of going straight up, I'm going with the blade at an angle. And then I still do a little bit of a up and over. On this part of it, I don't do it so much. It's still a little bit of a not totally straightforward. So, don't know if that'll help, but maybe it will. So, <clears throat> and this way I'm going, I kind of go and Go a little bit towards my ear as I'm going up. So 
So it's almost like when you feel the resistance and the, the blades engage the, the hair, instead of going in one direction, you're kind of going on a diagonal. Uh, same thing like if you got like a, a, a I'm trying to think, like a, a plane, wood plane. Sometimes the blades are set square and sometimes the blades are set at an angle. You set it at a little bit of an angle and uh, it helps it go through better. So same thing when you think about like a tooth on a saw, they're all set at angles or a chainsaw. It's all set at angles, they're not square unless you got a, the the ones that are square when you're doing a set of cross cutting you're doing with the grain, like if you're using like one of them uh, Alaska lumberjack or Alaska sawmill, you need to the uh, set of a cross cut chain on a saw, you need a saw the parallel cut. So, I don't know, I'm rambling about cutting stuff, chainsaws and shit. Here I'm using a razor, so. So in other news in my little world, my son-in-law is still over in Korea. They're going to be maneuver going around and doing maneuvers and all, but we got an update from his uh, CEO. They're going to be taking great lengths to keep them from being exposed to the coronavirus and keeping them out in training areas away from the population. He's also going to be Switching from being a grenadier and using a grenade launcher as well as his rifle. Uh, they don't even have M203s anymore. I forget the nomenclature for the new ones. They're a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter. Kind of look more like the ones the Russians had on the bottom of their AK-74s. But uh, So he's not going to be a grenadier anymore. He's going to be a saw gunner. So I'll get the hump us all around. Saws are the old machine guns now. When I was in, they were shiny new machine guns. And my unit didn't really have the saws. And we weren't an infantry company anyway. I was anti-armor, so I shot missiles, tow missiles. But uh, our infantry company, Charlie Company, they had all M60s, so. And then when I was in PLDC, in order to move up from E4 to Sergeant, I had to take, and since I was the only infantry guy in my PLDC class, of course, they said, well, you know all about guns and all, so you can, be, you can carry a machine gun. So I had to carry that pig around for two whole weeks during PLDC and all. So Springfield Armor is 19 and a half pound turd. with my companion. They're not really any fun until you get to shoot them and then they're fun. But other than that, there's a lot more crap to carry around. Order here on this. Just looking it up a little bit. So, so he's gonna play with a saw. He's only got a couple months left. I think about like two, two and a half months left, and he'll be. Rotating back home, which is Joint Base Lewis McCord up there in uh, Washington State. 
just outside of Tacoma. So big shout out to 2nd Infantry Division, 2nd Striker Brigade. Doing the business, as they say. So. Now a couple of you, you got, you got Major Rich and uh, a few other guys, prior service and all, and, uh, and all, so different branches and everything, which is, oh, here, no, I'm a dumbass. I lathered up my neck and I don't need to shave my neck. I need to. But that's what talking gets you, not paying attention. I just need to do my cheeks. I'm enjoying the patchouli scent so much that I just wanted to put more on. So. See how I kind of. Kind of go at an angle. Maybe I'll switch it up next time and maybe I'll use a double edge. Maybe uh, they will have straight razor Sunday and I'll have double edge Sunday. We'll do a flip flop. So, so no surprise, the CBL soap's a good soap. I like it. <clears throat> the scent, not so much, but. Uh, now I do also have uh, cherry blossom bamboo left to try out, and I also I already have uh, one of his tonsorials. And, oh, that Dave sent along uh, roasted oatmeal stout in the base, in the original base, flat, and all premium base, and uh, and also. Seventeen minutes, kind of average. So, so I'll do my little bit of touch up here. I hope you guys got something fun going for the weekend. My weekend's going to be still pretty much the way it's been going the last couple days here. Taking care of the missus and keeping everything running at the house as smooth as possible with the cats and the dog. So, so that's that. So now, what will I go with? After shave wise, mm, I don't know what haven't I done in a while. Why don't I go with? <clears throat> Some skin bracer in my big hand. And it's down, getting kind of low. You know. But uh, classic old school. Still can buy it original kind of aftershave. Low, low cost. Kind of like me, low budget. I like the ventilation sometimes. So. <coughs> so that's that. 
Now I'm going to go on to a coffin jag. So, all right, fellas, you have a good rest of the night, and I'll talk to you on the message board, and see you tomorrow.